back to my channel. My name is Maria, for those of you who don't know. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and also turn on that bell notification button that way anytime I upload a video, YouTube will notify you. I have So I honestly am a huge boot addict. Um, honestly, boots are, for me, like everything. Um, and so you're gonna see a lot of boots here in this video today. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and get right into it. So I used to only like square toe boots. Um, I wasn't a big fan of snip toes. I, my first pair of boots were, I think it was a round toe, not even a round toe. It was like a mix between like a round pointed toe. Um, and then I got square toe and then from there I just always got square toe. I didn't think that snip toe boots looked good on me. Um, and we're talking years ago, you know, like many years ago. Um, so I was always getting square toe boots. Now, in this collection, my OG, I call these my OG. I have like a pile of boots, just like a mountain of boots over here. So <laughs> my OG boots, the ones that I have literally worn everywhere um are these right here and these are so worn out <laughs> like <laughs> i have worn these so much and at one point in time <clears throat> these were the only boots that i had um and they are a square toe they're not a wide square toe they're just a regular square toe these are cheyenne mad cat you can find these at boot barn these are really good traditional brown boot they go with everything um incluso i would wear them also con vestidos because since it wasn't a wide square toe it was kind of like a narrow is that is that how you say it it's kind of like is you, you can see right here it's just not wide so it looked good in with the dresses bueno pensaba yo um these boots have been worn to like Haripeos, uh, freaking bailes, everywhere. I have worn these everywhere. And to the point where like the, the little things are coming off and it's, I'm planning and hoping to take these to like a shoe repair place, have them clean them up, have them shape them up because I don't want to throw these away. Um, and on the inside, I don't know if you can see this, this is gonna be nasty, but on the inside, it's like black. I don't know if you can see that. It's like, it's, it's, it's an old boot so these are my og boots i love these so much so yeah that's one of my favorites still to this day i don't wear them that much anymore um because now i have like so many boots incluso side note like i remember when i was doing my western lookbooks and i would wear these and like every with every outfit every photos y tanta cosa y la gente decía ah que no tiene ya más botas or you don't have any more boots or the next pair of boots that i got are also square toes um, like I said, I wasn't really into snip toes, um, but let me do. Let me say that when I did purchase the Mad Cat Cheyennes, when I did purchase those, I also purchased a snip toe as well in the same um, color and the same. <clears throat> I think the snip toes are called the Cheyenne Mad Dog. So I purchased both and I tried to wear the snip toes. Incluso I did a shoot with them, pero como que me lastimaban las patas. I wasn't used to that shape of boot y todo eso. Entonces I did return them, but they're like literally the same exact thing, just snip toe. But anyways, these boots right here are the next boots that I got. A lot of these boots have memories and stories behind them. And funny story about these boots is that me and my husband were going to Atlanta and in Commerce, Georgia, we stopped at Boots Etc. And we were looking around and stuff like that, looking at the boots. And I had seen these and I had wanted a wide square toe for a minute now, but I was just so like skeptical about finding, um, like I was having a hard time finding a really nice one that I liked and, it, and something that would go good with the jeans that I was using because this was before I even got like into Miss Me jeans and stuff. I was wearing the Hollister uh, bootcut jeans. So for me, in my opinion, they looked weird with the wide square toe. Um, and funny story that day that we went to Boots, etc. Actually, my husband ended up buying me a pair of Miss Me jeans, my first pair of Miss Me jeans, which I'm gonna do a whole separate video on jeans as well. But anyways, so I seen these, I tried them on. I really liked them because I like the collar and everything like that. 
They're a wide square toe. It's like a chocolate brown. These are called the Area Circus Cisco's. And so I seen them, but they were like 200 and something dollars. And I was not looking to spend that much money that day. So we ended up, you know, not getting them. I left the store or whatever. And we continued on our way to Lana. And so me metí ahí en el sitio de boot barn. And I found these same exact boots for a hundred dollars less so i was like bitch and i had a book barn gift card at that time too so i ended up ordering these and i have a wore these i've worn these to bailes um i did end up the last time i wore these i wore them to a haripeo and so that's why they kind of got like really orangey right here but i did try to clean them up which i would never wear these without jeans over them um and i usually don't wear square toe boots with without jeans over them except for those previous ones that i showed you because like i said they're a more thinner i don't know how to explain it but they're, they're not as they're not a wide square toe they're just a regular square toe these are wide square toes so yeah but um ¿qué más les puedo decir? i really like these boots i think that they're really cute with um jeans over them and yeah these are the second pair of um boots that i got and uh yeah so i'll just show you guys like a close-up of them and like i said you can find these at boot barn so this is a really good boot too okay so then the next boot that i got is also a square toe and these are my favorite square toes and i'm probably gonna say that a lot about a lot of these boots because some of these favoritos. but these are my favorite and i'm gonna tell you why so these are the Ariat. oh i don't know what they're called but i got these at boot barn as well they're really you know how como te diré? okay so these boots are my like everything favorite i seriously love them i love the color it's like a softer leather it feels kind of like they carry but it's not and um it has like a blue and pink kind of situation going up on the top and then on the bottom it has a very different sole from like you would compare to this one which is like you can see like all the wood and everything like that so these i like so much because these are lightweight these are their Ariat's lightweight line of boots and so like these feel like nothing so I wear these to the baile all the time I feel like it's so much easier when I'm dancing and stuff no me tengo que levantar la bota tan pesada porque esta está pesada esta está como muy lightweight o sea if you if you're looking for a lightweight boot I definitely recommend checking these out you can find them at boot barn pero pues La verdad, las recomiendo. O sea, son super lightweight, super, super lightweight. And I would not wear these without jeans over them either. Um, like I said, I'm going to do a whole separate video on how I would wear boots. I might do like, just like a sit down, talk kind of video about square toes versus snip toes or que tanta cosa. But yeah, these are another one of my favorite. I love these boots so, 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 so much. Um, but yeah this is them my favorite square toes okay so the next boot that i have is this one and this is a corral this is my first pair of corral square toes um these were sent to me for my collaboration my first collaboration with country outfitters for one of their campaigns and so this boot it means so much to me because it's kind of like it's, it's a boot that represents when I started doing all of this YouTube and um, my blogs and everything like that. It's just like, ah! It's like my trophy boot, my first big collaboration. So they sent me these boots and these are their butterfly square toe corrals. So it has all these diamonds and embellishments on them. It is a square toe, not a wide square toe, just a regular square toe. My first pair of corrals. And so it has like these little diamonds right here and then you know the wings and then it has the same aquí these would I guess like be the antenna of the butterfly um so I did wear these for a shoot I have not worn them ever since um I personally love corrals very much but they you gotta break them in you really have to break them in these were really tight when I put them on and they're probably still gonna be that way because I have not broken these in completely yet 
Um, and I'm gonna say that um, Ariat boots, you really don't need to break them in too much because they're already designed very comfortably and all that good stuff. And all the sh boots that I showed you, well, the past two boots that I showed you, um, I did not feel like I had to break them in, but the Cheyennes, I did. Those were really tight when I got them and now, you know, they're completely broken in, as you can see. But these are from Country Outfitters, um, so I will leave them linked down below. And side note, Country Outfitters currently is having a $500 e-gift card giveaway. I will leave the link down below that way you guys can go enter to, you know, get you some boots. So yeah, these are the Corral Butterfly boots. Next boot that I have is my first official snip toe like i said i had the cheyenne mad dogs but i honestly didn't wear them i didn't even break them in i wore them for a shoot and i was like no can't these are my first snip toes this is where the snip toe love was um created this is where the passion started with these babies right here these are the glow in the dark snip toe corrals um, these were sent to me when I collaborated with Yeehaw Cowboy, which I have a discount code with them. It is Maria53. It'll pop up right here. So if you guys want to check them out, you definitely should because I actually, I, like, I love Yeehaw Cowboy. Um, they are one of my favorite boot online stores. So yeah, um, Yeehaw Cowboy sent me these boots and these, like I said, are their glow in the dark corrals. They're a snip toe, obviously, like I said, and so they have like this kind of bluish stitching, um, and that's just where it glows in the dark. I do not wear these much, um, but when I do have like a dress that has some blue in it or something, as you guys have probably seen in some of my photos, I did wear the heck out of these um, in the springtime. I wore the heck out of these in the springtime, and I did get these in a size eight and a half. I should have got a size eight. Um, since I was transitioning from like square toe to snip toe, I was so confused with sizing. Like, do I size up? Do I stay with my regular size? Every boot is different, but it was a really big struggle for me. So I did get these in an eight and a half. They are kind of loose um, and they are broken in, but yeah, these are a very unique boot that I have. I think these are so cute and I think that they would be really nice for like a festival. Um... Especially yeah, when se baja el sol and it glows in the dark, so they're But yeah, that is that one. The next snip toe boot, because after that, after that boot, I fell in love. I was like, I'm hooked. Okay, so the next boot that I had got was this one. Now, this boot is literally my favorite snip toe boot. Why? Because it's so comfortable. These are from r and Western Wear out in California, and they're from the brand Bot um, El General. So these are, yeah, El General. So these are a chocolate brown snip toe boot, and they have this embroidery up here con unos like little flowers y que tanta cosa. Um, I collaborated with r and Western Wear, and they sent me these boots, and I, oh my God. I love them. These are also an eight and a half, but I do want to say that, you know, every boot is different. So it's just, especially when it's snip toe, you have to try it on. Tienes que, tienes que ponerla. And usually I recommend just going with your regular size, but, um, and I was going to go with my regular size with this boot specifically, but me dijeron que they only had an eight and a half and, they, and he assured me, he was like, you know, it's going to work. It's going to fit you. And it did. It fits perfect. This snip toe boot fits me perfectly. Um, but I, I do recommend that you guys check out r, r Western Wear. I love this specific boot right here. Um, and it is, like I said, it's from the marca El General. I know that I also did collaborate with El General with the, um, the boot brand directly. I collaborated with them in the, I want to say like in the winter time. Um, and they sent me out a square toe, but they were really hard for me to break in um, And I ended up selling them, but I did take some pictures of them and they were super cute But I just feel like um, I wasn't gonna get too much wear out of that specific boot because of the color um, 
I'm very weird with stuff like that. But yeah. Anyways, this is the boot. One of my favorite snip toes. I love this. I love this so, 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 so much. One of my... Is me... Me encanta. Es mi favorito. O sea, esta sí. Es mi favorito. Okay. So, then from there, the next snip toe boot that I own is this one. Now, this one I did get on my own. I got it from Boot Barn. And it is the traditional, every, everybody has this boot. Everybody and their grandmother and their mother have this boot. This is the Corral traditional wedding boot. It is the most popular, you have, I, I can almost assure you've seen this. Um, so this is a cheap Corral boot, considering that their boots are, you know, almost $300. This is, this will rent you about $226. Um, and I do recommend this boot because it is a, it's a really good beginner boot, especially for snip toes. Um, so it has this embroidery around here, this off-white embroidery. It goes up here and around. It is a boot that usually you see a lot for, you know, girls grabbing these for their wedding and stuff like that. What I like about it is it has these pull straps on the inside it doesn't take away from the look itself on the outside and um it helps you get your boot easy easily on um one thing that i don't like too much about this boot is how soft the leather is it does stretch a bunch um and it does feel a little loose on me i did go with my regular size on this boot but um i i don't wear it that much and i know i will though I did break them in um, last month. Last month, yeah. When we went to the Luke Bryan concert, I wore these to the Luke Bryan concert in Charlotte. Um, but I do love this boot. Don't get me wrong. I do love this boot. I do recommend that you check it out. Um, it is a boot that goes with seriously everything. Um, but yeah, this is that Corral wedding boot that you see all over the place. And side note i do like to keep everything in the boots because i like for my boots to keep their shape i don't want them to be all floppy like my cheyennes um so i do keep in this i keep in the circular thing and then in the bottom i keep in the little papelito that comes in too so yeah i do recommend that you guys keep that in your boots um because like i said you don't want them to get floppy and i don't know but yeah the next square toe boot that i own is one of my favorites i have been eyeing this boot for a very long time and i had a difficult time deciding if i wanted to get a snip toe version of it or the square toe version but al fin i ended up getting the square toe version because i felt like i'd get more use out of it and it would look better with jeans over it um and it's this one this is the corral square toe um cross wing boot and I got these, these were sent to me from Yeehaw Cowboy. And honestly, oh my God, these are like, oh. Cuando les pones con el pantalón, it just shows like the cross and everything like that. Y se ve bien, pero bien chido. Este de, so it has this off-white stitching around it. And then it has a black inlay. Um, it has the cross on the toe and then the wings. And then as well as it has it on the front and in the back. Um, I honestly went with the square toe because I felt like wearing them in snip toe would just, the, it was just too much, you know, it would, and, and, and honestly, these are not a wide square toe. These are just a regular square toe. So I do see myself and I have worn these with like big t-shirts. Um, sometimes if I'm going out just like to, you know, pasear por ahí, nothing too crazy, I'll wear like a big t-shirt um oversized tee and then i'll wear my boots with them and so honestly these i wore um i wore these last week when we went to anderson we just went out to kind of like tailgate and whatnot and i wore these with a t-shirt from under the carolina moon so yeah um we're gonna say definitely recommend these boots definitely recommend Iha cowboy and yeah these are seriously everything okay so then the next boots that i have are my first i guess you would call these like lace-ups um so and they're these so these are from the mark the mark 
<laughs> so this is my first lace up boot. It is from Ray Welt and I got these sent to me from Guadalajara Western Wear with my collaboration with them. Um, this was a boot that I honestly loved so much. Initially, I wanted the area, the round toe area lace ups, but I actually found that these are so much better because you can wear these with dresses, shorts, skirts, anything really. They are a square toe, which I loved, and then they have the little cosita right here. I don't know what you would call that, but it gives it like a good detail when you put your pants over it. And so, yeah, these are the lace ups. You guys have probably seen these in a lot of my pictures. I love these, and yeah. So that's those. The next boot that I have is from my most recent collaboration with um, Country Outfitters. And this is my first thigh, not thigh, over the knee boot. This is my first over the knee boot. These are a really popular boot right now. Like I said, I got these with my second collaboration for the Americana campaign with Country Outfitters and they are a snip toe. These are the Dan Post jilted knee high boots. Um, they have a fashion heel and then um, again, the snip toe and then they have the design going up and I really love these. I really, really love these. This actually is the perfect you know boot for a dress you know especially in the fall time to wear these with like some jeans or dresses with a little scarf and oh, i think these, these are perfect i'm actually looking for more over the knee boots so if you guys have any recommendations let me know send me links because i'm always 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 looking for new boots so yeah these are a beautiful boot and then what i like is that they have the zipper so it gives you it makes it easier for you to put it on and off. My most recent pair of boots are these. These are, I think, a 15 inch, which now I'm hooked on, you know, this height of boot. Um, and ever since um, the Dan Post jilted knee highs, I've been really liking tall boots. So these are a Corral. These I also got on my own. Um, and what I love about them is they're so unique. I honestly like this is a must if you don't have this boot put it on your list You need it um, It has the deer head with the flowers on the front and in the back and um, it has just some flowers on the toe And this is a snip toe boot. I did get these in my normal size as well as my damn posts And if I didn't mention that I got those in my regular size too and yeah, it's just so beautiful. And I've seen this on, um, I've seen this out there as well in a purple color. Personally, for me, I didn't really like the purple color. Um, I didn't think it would suit me, but this one is perfect. Oh my God, I love this boot so much. You need this boot, you need it. It's so freaking beautiful. So, yeah. Mira no más I love this boot. I love this boot. That is, this is honestly a fave. This is a fave. This, these boots were sent to me by Botas El Bronco. They are from Guanajuato. They sent these to me with our for our collaboration, which I still need to actually take some more pictures in these. But um, these are their, I think they're their Gavallota. I don't know. So they have like this design over here on the top. And then some embroidery right here they have this little i don't know what you would call that um and it goes all the way around i did wear these at a shoot um that i did in as you can see it's in Sociedad. um and they're kind of short i have not worn these all that much this is a really good boot i do recommend that you check out Botas del Bronco. Um, and hopefully I can get some wear out of these. I really like them. Um, I could see me wearing these more like on a quick day where I'm just, you know, putting on like a big t-shirt or something and I'm just probably gonna go out and hang out, drink or whatever. Just toss these bad boys on and boom, we're ready to go. Okay, next, these are not boots, okay? But I do recommend my foot is falling asleep. I do recommend, you know, if you love boots and you're a Western girl, you're a cowgirl, whatever. 
and you don't want to wear boots some days because there's some days that we just don't want to wear boots i recommend that you check out area cruisers so i have not worn these yet um but i got these and they are so freaking comfortable um you can wear these however you like for those days that you just want to throw something on or whatever but i would wear these with boot cut jeans over them and so this is what they look like they're just the area traditional brown cruisers definitely love them so much the most comfortable shoe ever they still have the tag on it no los he puesto todavía um i could see myself wearing these more in the fall time with boot cut jeans pero pues bueno I do recommend that you guys check them out though. Check out the cruiser line. It's super, super comfortable. You won't regret it. Love it so much. So, yeah. So, back onto the topic of boots. The next boots that I have are my most luxurious, unique boots. And this is a... Um, if you didn't know, I am a Steifeld brand rep and i love styfeld so much i think every girl needs a pair of styfeld boot collection you need one and so here are some that i own that i love so so much i keep it wrapped up i call these my luxury boots because they are just precious they are so freaking beautiful so i do have a code with them it is maria 10 it'll pop up right here so you can check them out they did just release their line of sandals so definitely check them out but it is a square toe this is square toe it's white and brown kind of like a cow material cow cow like style como te estoy diciendo esto como parece una vaca una bota de vaca but they are a cow hide material so they are hairy i love these these are everything that's when you want to put them on and then you can um wear them with shorts dresses everything like i even put buka jeans over them definitely recommend these so i just did a shoot with these so freaking cute i do recommend that you measure your foot before you order because they their sizing is a little different but um i could have probably gotten away with seven and a half they just fit a little loose, but still, nonetheless, I will still rock these things. They are so, oh, everything. And then the next boot that I have with Seifeld is my first Seifeld boot that they sent me, which is a snip toe. It is a tan cowhide material boot, same style. You can open it, not open it, but it stretches up here. And yeah, this is also a, a really, like I got a lot of comments on these when I, to pictures and i'll leave them linked down below and they're constantly changing their styles and everything i know that now they have these they have um some that come a little higher and then some that come you know as high as like a regular boot so yeah definitely one of my faves okay so after a long boot collection that is it that is all Today, I am waiting for another pair of boots to come from Texi Boots. Um, so let me know down below if you want a updated boot collection in a few months or whatever, um, because I can definitely do that. I can show you the newer boots that I'll be getting. Um, um, but yeah, that's kind of it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I am actually sitting in a pool of boots right now. <laughs> Um, I love boots so much. Doesn't matter how many boots you have, but I definitely love collecting boots. Um, I don't think I ever will stop. Um, so yeah, if you guys know of any boots, any boots that you think are cute, any type of recommendations that you have, please send me a message, email me. I don't know. Just let me know because I love looking at new boots. I do want to get some more. I have some more on the way and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Thank you so much por todo el apoyo y el amor que me dan. O sea, me hacen tan feliz. Los quiero con todo mi corazón. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Como una parvada los aviones se miraban Y entre fuselaje viajaba la colombiana Ellos así la transportaban El radar no la detectaba